Okay, uh, this is going to be a tutorial video on um, a tool I use a lot for setting up um, uh, or starting uh, a new smart notebook file. Um, it's also a tool you could use uh, a lot, you know, in a lot of other ways. Um, uh, you know, if you have uh, materials already made that you, you want to uh, use in smart notebook, you can do that. So. Um, the tool, uh, before I go too much, is um, an import. So if you go to File and Import, um, which is the third option uh, right here, um, that gives you the ability to take any PowerPoint presentation that you already have and uh, import it into uh, Smart Notebook as a presentation. So um, uh, if you have, uh, again, if you have a PowerPoint presentation that you use, or that you have used and you want to uh, bring it into Smart Notebook and make it a little more interactive, uh, that's what the import uh, ability does. It gives you the ability to do, excuse me. Uh, I will tell you that in the past when I've done imports, uh, you do lo lose some formatting uh, and, um, and that I guess makes sense, but uh, some of the things won't come in exactly as you might want them to. I use import for a different reason and I'm going to show you how that works. Um, with um, with this brief tutorial, so I guess it won't be that brief since I spent a minute setting it up. Um, so basically, I'm going to go to PowerPoint. What I'm going to do is make a two-slide presentation. I'm going to have a title slide and uh, one content slide. So I'm going to type in the title block. I'm going to type title, and the subtitle block. I'm going to type subtitle, uh, and then I'm going to give myself a new page, and I'm going to name this uh, uh, title on the uh, the slide title and then uh, content here. So that's all I'm going to do. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to design and I'm going to an, apply a design scheme uh, to this uh, presentation. So I'm going to find a design scheme that looks nice or that, that I want and um, I'm going to apply it. Uh, I have a problem with uh, red. I like red more than I should I guess. But um, So here we go. I've got this uh, nice design scheme. It's called Newsprint, and I've applied it to my uh, design scheme, excuse me, to my presentation. So what I'm going to do now is save this file. So I'm going to go File, Save As, and um, I'm going to give the name uh, something generic like uh, title, I guess. Um, look at that. It already comes in. So I'm going to click Save, and my file saved. I, I can close this PowerPoint down. I no longer need it. Uh, just one note, um, if you'll allow me, the um, the PowerPoint design schemes that I was hoarding before, uh, if you'll notice, they all come in this uh, the same way with the title and subtitle. Uh, it's because I'm not I wasn't really hoarding them just to, to have design schemes. I was hoarding them because I use them in the fashion that I'm uh, about to demonstrate to you. So I'm done with the PowerPoint. I'm going to close it down. I'm going to go back to my smart notebook and I'm going to go to File, Import. And that's going to bring up an import menu. And that import menu basically gives me the ability to look and find a PowerPoint file. You'll notice it's looking for PowerPoint files. And uh, right now, the one that I have in this location is that one I just made. So I'm going to click Open. And that's going to take a couple seconds. So uh, now you can see that my, my import has been successful and uh, I've got here's my title slide and if I click on the next slide here's my content slide um, at this point what I can do is um, well what I would do is set up my file or set up my pages the way I want them to be so I would give this um, I would change this from title to what my title actually is which uh, would be I don't know using import and then I'll give it a subtitle if, if that's the if it catches my fancy um, so uh, I've got my title and uh, subtitle and then I'm going to go to my content page and arrange it the way I want it I don't like the title on the bottom look so I'm going to bring that title up here uh, and uh, rename that whatever I'm going to name it. And 
and then I can add my content however I wish to there. I'm going to increase the font size because that's uh, probably too small for a uh, presentation given to uh, students. So again, um, I've got my content and my, um, excuse me, and my title set up. I'm actually going to take the uh, bullets off. I'm not feeling the bullets right now. So uh, at any rate, I've got my uh, content and, excuse me, my, my title and content set up for my, my content slides. I'm going to go to the page sorter and rename this slide title and rename this slide content. And now uh, to make my presentation, I'm just going to clone this page over and over again. Now I've shown you some of these steps. Um, uh, let me go through a little bit of why uh, why I'm doing the things. One of the things that I don't like about the uh, design schemes in uh, Smart Notebook, or the themes as they call them in Smart Notebook, is they're they're fairly elementary. Uh, nothing against elementary. I have an elementary degree, so uh, I'm with it. But um, uh, teaching middle schoolers, uh, it's a, a little on the, the babyish side for, for what I feel my audience is. So I like some uh, a presentation um, design that's a little, sh a little crisper, uh, I guess more crisp. Uh, and I, I find that the PowerPoint design schemes provide that for me. I, I like the look of a lot of those PowerPoint design schemes. So I typically use those import them and then uh, make modifications to each of my specific pages as I uh, as I find the need but uh, set up the, the font and the, the background look using that import key uh, that import tool from um, importing from PowerPoint in smart notebook so uh, that's really it uh, again I'm doing the same things I, I would in smart notebook or I would just starting from scratch and start smart, smart notebook using that template page and um, and propagating it that way. Hope you enjoyed this.